narratives, first narratives, traditional storytelling has been around since we gave birth without fear, has been around since we sustained life with our bodies, has been around since pregnant people were able to partner with their babies in their tummy, has been around, has been around. And so this creation story will hopefully remind, remind us of creation, remind us that creation is important Remind us that people who create life are important. Remind us that the life that's created is important. That we can sustain life. Being a grandmother, being a mother, being a teacher, a storyteller, you learn things. <laughs> you learn what it's like to create life and sustain it. You learn the struggles of breastfeeding. You learn the struggles of post-birth care. You learn how society treats you when you're not pregnant and when you are pregnant. You learn how to take care of yourself when others are not. Unfortunately, some people treat objects more importantly than pregnant people, more important than children. And so you see stories like this will hopefully remind them that that's not the way to be. Hopefully creation stories can remind us how to be authentic in our relationships with our pregnant people, with our our babies hopefully remind us that it's okay to transform. Hopefully remind us that creation is important. Creating life is important. Sustaining life is important. Being born is important. Long, long ago, Raven perched in a tree in the darkness, in the darkness. You see, Raven knew that there was a sky chief. Raven knew that sky chief had the sun and the moon and the stars in these big, beautiful boxes in his house. Raven knew if he kept flying through the darkness, if he kept listening to something in his heart, he knew that he would find that sky chief. He knew. He just knew it. So he flew and flew. Sitting in that tree, sitting in the right tree at the right time, Raven saw her. He saw her come out of this house. He saw her coming down to the water to drink water. He felt something special when he saw this young woman coming out to drink water. He, he decided to watch her. He knew he must have been in the right tree. He knew there was something special about this young woman. He knew he needs to watch her go back into the house that she came from. He watched her go back in there and he... He could feel something amazing from that house. He can feel light he's never felt. Raven could feel the light. He could feel it on her as she came to the water. He decided to stay in that tree. And he watched what times of the day she would come out. He watched where she would sit. He would watch her go back in. He listened. He listened to the songs that were coming from that house. He could feel 
So many things he's only dreamt about. Raven, being the shapeshifter that he is, decided to turn himself into a small pine needle. The smallest of all pine needles. Just as she was coming out to the water, landed right where she drinks it, and down the pine needle went. She went back into her house. Pine needle swallowed. Pretty soon her tummy began to grow. Her tummy began to grow. And her father, the sky chief, the elders, you see, she wasn't married. She hadn't, she hadn't had that kind of relationship. Her mother knew exactly what was happening. Her mother knew she had, she had something special inside of her. So they began to make gifts for her. They began to care for her. They began to feed her. They began to make sure she slept. Bigger and bigger, her tummy grew. More and more and more, it was harder for her physically. It was difficult for her to walk around as easy. She didn't go out to gather water anymore. She, she, was a, she was sacrificing her body for this big tummy. But she knew it was special, so she would, she would rub her tummy and she would sing to her tummy. She, she would sing her house songs, her clan songs to her tummy. She would talk about the light to her tummy. She would talk to her tummy because... You see, being the daughter of the Sky Chief was a big responsibility. Being the daughter of the Sky Chief who kept the sun and the stars and the moon in the boxes of the corner of the house and the elders that would come and the aunties and the uncles and reverence that would come and sit and just witness. Just witness what happened at their house. Pretty soon the day came. Pretty soon the day came that she felt pain where her tummy had been so big. She felt pain. She felt she felt like whatever it was that was inside of her body, whatever she's been teaching, whatever she's been connecting with, whatever she she loved. She'd be done. She cried in sorrow. She cried in joy. She birthed that raven baby. She birthed that beautiful little boy with the beady black eyes, shiny black hair. And she fed him. She fed him from her body. She loved him. The elders, the aunties, the uncles, they would make toys for this boy. They would make shaker rattle toys for this boy. They had songs for him. Sky Chief immediately taught him about the boxes that kept the light. Sky Chief introduced him to that, told him that they're going to belong to him one day. That's going to be his. He's going to be the caretaker of those, those light. Raven Baby was so enamored with joy and excitement, felt so much love, felt so much love, knew so many songs now. Raven Baby loved his mama. He loved the elders, the aunties, the uncles that gave him all these toys. Raven Baby almost forgot that he was a raven. <sighs> until he decided. Until he decided it's time. It's time to take the light. It's time to take it. Raven Baby began to cry. Ga, 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 ga. And Mother had never heard such a cry before. Mother tried to feed him. Mother tried to play with him. The elders, they panicked. The aunties, the uncles, they'd never seen Raven Baby cry like this. Cry with such want. With such pain. Raven Baby didn't eat anymore. Raven just cried and cried. Sky Chief tried to feed him too. Sky Chief tried to even play with him. Sky Chief picked up Raven Baby and brought him 
to the boxes that had the light, and Raven Baby stopped crying. Raven Baby stopped crying when he was by the boxes of light. Sky Chief was tired of holding him. He was exhausted. For days he held him. Both of them were getting sick. Both of them were losing weight. None of them were eating. Sky Chief thought he needs to stay connected to his grandson. He needs to... He needs him to know that he loves him. He needs him to know that these boxes of light are going to belong to him, and he needs to make him better. He needs to make him well. And Mother felt helpless. She couldn't feed him anymore. The elders, the aunties, the uncles, grandmother. He wouldn't eat. Sky Chief wouldn't eat with him. In solidarity, he, he fasted. In solidarity, he, he just stayed connected with his grandson like that. In solidarity... He just held him by the boxes of light. He just held him until he couldn't hold him anymore. He just held him until he had to sit down on the boxes of light holding his raven grandson, his grandson raven baby. He just held him in his little shiny black hair and his beady little black eyes looked up at him, withering away. They were both becoming sick of not eating. They were both becoming physically sick. He couldn't hold him anymore. He had to put him down on the boxes of light. Sky Chief wasn't holding his grandson, Raven Baby, anymore. Mother was utterly helpless. She was getting sick too. Sick with grief, sick with pain. Now she was gonna lose her father. Now grandmother was gonna lose her husband. The people, they were going to lose their Sky Chief. Sky Chief lay there on the floor. Raven Grandson began to crawl around the boxes of light. He began to caw. He began to caw in his cry. His cry got louder and stronger. Helpless mother felt like she needed to open. Maybe she, maybe she needed to open the boxes of light. Maybe that would help her father. Maybe that would help the raven baby. Maybe they were willing to do anything, to try anything. They need to save the sky chief. They need to save this raven baby that was getting so sickly. She decided to open the box of light. The box of light was open and light beamed through the entire house. People could hardly see. It was so bright. It was so bright. Raven Baby could see just fine. Raven Baby stopped crying, stopped cawing, turned back into the raven that he was, turned back into the raven that he was, scooped up that ball of light. That sun was so hot and so bright, flew out of the smoke hole, flew and flew and flew and flew and flew as he was flying. Eagle, Eagle came after him. Eagle wanted that light. Eagle knew it didn't belong to Raven. Eagle knew where the Sky Chief kept that light. Eagle began to go after that light. Broke pieces of it off. That light was tossed way up into the sky. That light is the sun that we now have. That light is, is what warms us up in the day. Raven went back for the moon, for the stars. And there's other stories that demonstrate how and when we get to see those. There's more creation stories that show us the importance of creation. There's more stories that show us how to take care of each other, how to take care of our babies, our young ones, our pregnant people. There's more stories that can show us how to transform, how to bring light to the people. The people need light. The people need darkness. <laughs>